Hi there, this is Shubham Mittal from decipheretechnic.com. Welcome to the tutorial on how to create custom object detectors using Python Delib API. In this very tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a face detector using Delib Python API on Windows PC. Before that, you should be having Anaconda installed on your PC with Delib Python API ready. If you haven't installed that yet, please follow my previous video. I have already uploaded a video on how to install Delib Python API on Windows PC. So having said that, let's get started. First of all, launch the Anaconda Navigator. Okay, go to Environments. In the previous video where I created a Delib Python API environment, I created nvdlib as an environment. I will be clicking on it. So this is showing the installed packages already installed. We had installed dlib and these are all the dependencies, dependency packages which were installed with dlib. So okay, now we are going to write the python program but where we have to write we are going to use an ide go to home again and we will be installing spider ide it is scientific python development environment powerful python ide with advanced editing interactive testing debugging and introspection features of course it is very beautiful i have been using it since three years and it is very helpful you can also install jupyter but uh, for this video i will be installing Sp spider so click on install by the time this spider is installing on our new environment we will quickly open the google and uh, we will search for delib we are going to download the latest version of the library so that we can have the latest examples so just download it this is download delib version 19.12 this is going to download here ok the download has just completed I can click on show in folder let's see how far our installation has gone ok it is just installing spider is installing now we will just extract this archive here only extract all Okay, let's see what is the progress of our spider installation. Okay, it has been installed. We can launch it here. Click on launch. So spider 3 is opening now. Okay, the delib archive is still extracting. Let's see what, what has been extracted till now. Okay, we are getting the python examples here okay i just need this train object detector dot pi so we will open it in this ide using open go to downloads delib 19.12 then python examples and then train object detector okay so this is the example file from the official delib library this says this example program shows how you can use delib to make a hog based object detector for things like faces pedestrian and that is some semi rigid objects uh, you can train it for bottles or glass and uh, some books also you can uh, detect we go through the steps to train the uh, kind of sliding of window object detector first published by the Lalan Tricks in 2005. Okay, it is a nice paper histogram of oriented gradients for human detection. It was the state of the art at that time, but uh, the deep learning based solutions have taken that. But still, it is workable for us. This section gives us the instructions for compiling, compiling Delib, installing Delib. We have already installed Delib. You can follow my previous video upon that okay let's go into the details of the program so it imports 
Oppo S6 Globe. Uh, these are required for reading the files and folders. Okay. Import Dlib. It's obvious we are going to import the Dlib library. In this example, we are going to train a face detector based on small faces data set in the examples faces directory. Okay. It uh, comes with the directory also. It comes with some face images also. Okay. These are the images we can use for our training. Let's see what it says next. This means you need to supply the path of this faces folders folder as a command line argu argument. So we will know where it is. We are not going to use it in Linux, so we can't supply. Maybe we can supply command line argument, but to keep it simple, I will just delete this part. If len sys arg v, I will delete it. Uh, I will just add the path to the face folder directly. Directly, I will copy this path. and using raw I will paste it here ok so now it it automatically fetches the images of the face faces now let's do the training uh, the training the delib simple object detector training options so this is just stores the options into one variable name we are making our custom variable named options and then we are going to access every element of this option like options dot and you can press tab shift tab we can just press shift tab to know all the associated functions and variables and macros so it is showing us this is this is c mm, this is the penalty parameter for training svm and this is, this is detection window size uh, you can tune this upon your own data set so i will just delete it it is not required options is equal to dlib dot simple object detector training options since faces are left right symmetric we can tell the trainer to train a symmetric detector so it uh, we can add the option of add left right image flips is equal to true so this makes the training data set double because faces are symmetrical so we can flip the images also and it does so the trainer is a kind of a support vector machine i was already told you that we are going to train a svm actually what it does is uh, for every image it computes the HOG based uh, descriptors and uh, a set of descriptors are fed to a support vector machine which learns from the examples and for the forecoming examples it can classify based upon the learnt knowledge uh, therefore it has the usual SVM C parameter in general a bigger C encourages it to fit the training data better but might, might lead to overfitting so uh, c is like a penalizing parameter if uh, the svm does something wrong then it it get penalized so the amount of penalization is de decided by c if c is small the svm can do mistakes very freely so it won't fit the data better but if it's, uh, the c is large uh, it will fit the training data better but uh, this may lead to overfitting if the data set is small which is our case so you might find the best value of c uh, empirically um, experimentally by checking how well the train detector worked on the test set of images so it uh, generally depends on the size of the data set and how the data set looks like uh, so many factors like that you can try upon many values of c maybe you can also start from 0 0.1 to 100 okay try a few different c values and see what works best for your data so options dot c is equal to 5 we are leaving it as it is uh, it is just okay for some for very few images we are having we are having just i think these are just 11 images only so it is okay now options dot number of threads is equal to 4 so it will using 4 threads from the cpu cores all the 4 cores uh, it will be using for training and the training process is not uh, 
exhaustive to the CPU, but still it will work uh, faster. Options dot b verbose is equal to uh, it will give us what is happening inside the kernel while the training is occurring.